Hey YouTube, it's Random Booze here with another video. This is just a mental quarantine checkup for all of my parents at home. Specifically, I'm coming from the viewpoint of a single parent, so I don't want to keep any parents out because look, um, two is always better than one. <clears throat> That's in a lot of situations. Um, but definitely being a parent and just having that balance. Um, I'm coming from the viewpoint of a single parent who um, was slash is in the middle of moving to a different state. I do have a job um, that I'm considered an essential worker as of right now. And I am just in the, ooh, my lips, wait a minute. Hold on. I mean, I guess they are all right, but okay, that's better. <laughs> all right, I'm coming from the viewpoint of just um, what's next, uh, but just using this time productively. Like, I really want to just see what you all are doing at home. Um, because I am used to being on the go, I, what, I wasn't really used to this kind of time. So now I'm actually working on YouTube for one. Uh, I have other creative things I'm trying to get into. Uh, sewing is definitely one of them. I haven't brought a sewing machine yet. I'm waiting for the prices to go down on that. If you all know of any really good sewing machines, please leave it down in the comment section below. But I'm waiting for those prices to drop like the economy. Sorry, it's gonna happen. Or I don't know if it already has happened and we're past that, but we will see. So I just want to know what you all doing at home. Uh, how do you feel with this time? Uh, feel comfortable to put whatever you like in the comment section as long as we're being respectful to other people's point of views. You know, this is a no judgment channel. Okay. All right. That being said, also, how are you? Are you all dating? Are you all dating right now? Like, can you date during quarantine? I'm not dating. And I'm a little bit bummed out because this was the year that I told myself I wanted to date and get back out there. And as soon, as soon as I was getting out there, just a little bit, you know, big toe in, pinky toe in over the air, lockdown. So maybe it's for my own good. I don't know um but it's like now so now i'm quarantined and I'll, i really don't have well anyways so so that so what are you doing at home are you working on any other passions or something you just want to see like are you good at or are you investing in any of your hobbies or expanding in any of them uh, do you have a quarantine bay or anyone that you were dating prior to this quarantine and you're continuing your relationship during the quarantine? If so, I need all the five W's. When, where, how, you know, how is that working out for you? Just let me know. Leave some pointers below. Uh, do you all date online? I haven't. I have not. And I'm not against it, but mm, yeah. So that's that. Um, how is it being an essential worker if you are a single parent? Um, has that put any more stress on you? Does your family give you a hard time about being at work and possibly bringing anything to your children? 
and or them, the caretakers for your child while you're at work. I know that is something that I ran into. Uh, my daughter and I have a really small support system where we are right now. That's where we're in the process of moving to another state where we have a little bit more consistency there. And I would stay with the same job, just move. Um, I can move my job to a different state. And where we are right now, uh, one of my really, really, really good main support systems for my daughter was just like, uh, you basically in so many words, like it's not safe for me to work. Um, and even though I want to be around you all, I can't because you're going to bring, you could bring this to me and I need to be safe. Um, I didn't get upset. I respected their feelings, their opinion, and their safety because that's what you have to do. Um, thank goodness we had one more backup. Uh, that has been working so far. I haven't been really uh, working that much because I work based on the volume of our flights and things have been getting canceled. So I've been pretty lucky so far for the entire month of April. Uh, we'll see what May brings. And so, yeah, so have you ran into any issues with that? Um, how do you plan your day? Do you always start the day at the same time? You know, like you try to have a regimen, do you get up, you know, have breakfast and do activities and go outside i know here um it's been warm but then it gets cool and then it just snowed here the other day it it went away by the afternoon because of the rain but i was very confused i was like oh my gosh so i still bring my kid outside i'm like two layers she has really 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 good warm boots that i brought from ll bean so she's covered. Um, let's put the gloves on uh, that she lost. Um, I have to look for both pairs. Uh, and again, we have like boxes and some plastic containers upstairs. So every time something gets neat, it doesn't stay neat. So yeah, in the middle of a move right now and the pressure is like, okay, but at the same time, I'm learning just to be very flexible and this may be a sign. Um, all things happen for a reason. And I just wanna know how is this affecting you and what are you doing to be better in this moment? I know one of my concerns is my body. Okay, like I want to look good. Okay, like I don't want my uh, body to fall off. And I was a little concerned at one point, um, especially with the weather being so up and down. Sometimes it's difficult to go outside when it's raining and cold and windy to like jog or just like do certain stuff. And I could work it out inside, but I prefer outside. But I am about to Billy blanks it up because... You're not gonna roll me out of this house. You're not gonna roll me over into another state, okay? Uh, so yeah, so what are you doing to stay in shape? Um, I'm kind of interested in CMOS, intermediate fasting using CMOS. I've already used CMOS all the time, um, but I want to challenge myself and see if anyone else wants to do this challenge with me where we go on a sea moss fast only but either sea moss only sea moss like so a sea moss smoothie you know water of course or sea moss smoothies and fruits and or sea moss fast and one meal a day, no carbs. Um, because I know it could be really hard to just do intermediate fasting with no food at all. Um, I was told once you get past the third day, it's really easy. I haven't done it since college. And I worked out regularly during college, like four times a week. So, and I was doing workouts outside and in the gym. 
So again, um, let me see, I'm at nine minutes and 43 seconds. So I just want to see what are you all doing? Um, for those of you that are in a relationship, are married or quarantined with Bay and the kids, how are you all balancing just all that energy in one space? Because what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? And do you find that because you all are inside that when you need to get things done, are you getting them done once the kids are asleep? Are the kids allowing you to get things done during the day? I think since we've been home, I've really only had one day where I was just like, as badly as I didn't want to put on the TV, I had to put on um, a learning channel for my kid and like, this is what you have. This is what it is. I need to be on this computer. I have work to get done. And um, I still, I, that was the only thing. Um, but I want to start doing my YouTube videos during the day and not like an hour in the middle of the night. So yeah, what like, what are, how are you guys doing this? Like, it's been a month now. Um, they're talking about reopening different states a few cities in florida have already opened up i spoke to my friend down there and um what are your thoughts like please leave your comments let me know come back for a little bit more of random booze